there's a couple really strange looking men that were here and they kind of freaked everybody out and they were asking questions about you. And of course, now I'm getting a little bit nervous and I'm like, what are you talking about? And he said, well, they were, he goes, I don't know how to describe them except for extremely odd looking. They were the exact same height. They were wearing the exact same clothes and they had the exact same faces, like they were twins. And he said they were wearing black suits, black trench coats. They were wearing like the old fashioned uh, Federo hats. They had extremely, extremely pale skin. And he said they came in and they asked for you. And I said, I'm sorry, he's actually not working today. And it seemed like they didn't believe me. So they started to walk around the hotel and shortly after they went to the tour desk but he goes they freaked me out and I really wanted to tell you that there were these weird guys in here looking for you so of course now I'm a little bit skeptical and a little bit freaked out all at the same time so the first thing I do is I run into my security office and I rewound the cameras and sure enough there here comes two gentlemen through the front door looking exactly how he described then the next day, I was talking with my uh, tour desk, and one of them um, asked to talk to me. She came in my office, the same as my bellman, and she said, I heard that you heard that there were some men looking for you. And she said, they asked a few questions about you, and they said strange things that I didn't understand. And they were talking about governments and conspiracies, and none of it made any sense to me. But she goes, they were very, very scary. She said they had no eyebrows, no eyelashes, nothing. Their hair looked like they had a wig on, like it was attached to their hat, like it wasn't even real. And she said, and the scariest thing, their eyes were so big and so blue that they almost hypnotized me a little bit. And she goes, and you're going to think I'm crazy when I tell you this, but I swear they knew what I was thinking. And she started to cry, and she said one more thing before she left. She said, these men, they didn't blink. Not once did I see them blink.